Welcome in then to latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you for your tweets. Craig Burley is with us. Sid Lowe and Luis Garcia joins us as well. Not oh, Luis Suarez. What? Sid's dog. Oh, and Sid's dog is here as well. I'm sorry for calling you Luis Suarez during the show, Luis. Uh, how's the dog? It's, you can let the dog in now. It's Extra Time. All bets are off, Sid. Yeah, she's, she's actually asleep, so I'm hoping she's not going to hit Oh, her OK. All right. Was there a reason, Sid, that you, she wouldn't lie down in another room or is she so, is she so attached to you? Yeah, that, that's basically it. She, she, she just won't... Particularly, I'm, I'm home alone at the moment, so, um, so obviously, right. if you're trying to rob the house, know that you'll get a paint can in your head, but um, I'm wow. home alone. Wow, home so alone style. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sid, we haven't seen you since the World Cup. How was it for you? Uh... Incredible. I mean, genuinely, oh. obviously, incredible. It was it was extremely tiring. It was it was it felt very very long. But but to have that kind of ending was was just extraordinary. Yeah, you look tired, Sid. <laughs> I do now, or I did then. <laughs> you look tired now, uh, Luis. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're you're in Colombia, and if you follow Luis on Instagram, you can see all the adventures he's been up to, white water rafting, all that sort of stuff. Uh, what a life, Luis. <laughs> Well, I have to say that I'm enjoying Colombia. Yeah, it's totally true. My miss is from here, so we decided to, to spend Christmas with uh, with her family here. And there's a lot of nature, beautiful nature, and we try to, to squeeze it, doing these kind of real things and eating sancocho and all this kind of stuff from here. So, yeah, enjoy it, enjoy it. Yeah, same decorator look as uh, Ian Dark as well. I bet the uh, I bet the food's lovely down there. Stevie Nichol would love it. Wouldn't <laughs> Imagine, Steve, what's <laughs> this? What? <laughs> lovely local Colombian cuisine. Uh, all right, Luis, let's talk about Gakpo, shall we? How big an impact we expect him to make for the remainder of the season? Over or under 15 goals and assists. Uh, whew, yeah, um, I will go for. I would love to to go uh, over, but I'm not sure if he's gonna make that impact. It's not gonna be easy to replace Firmino, to replace uh, Adama Nunes in that position. To get into the eleven is not gonna be easy, even though that uh, Jurgen knows that he has to give it and start it very slow. Um, uh, Premier League is very tough. It's complicated. Liverpool uh, today they they won just two one. But uh, you could see they struggled for, for some moments with uh, a few uh, problems in defence. So it could be a Fernando Torres situation or, or Andy Carroll situation. I hope that it goes in the direction of Fernando Torres and make a, a massive thing in the first year, or at least the first few months, and, and get that confident, get the crowds back. Uh, but it's not going to be easy. And I think he's not that kind of player that we all expect that he's going to score 25, 30, uh, 30 goals a season. Hopefully, yes. But that's the way I see it at the moment. He hopefully he proved me wrong and he scored over 15 goals in the rest of the season. That's ambitious, isn't it? 15 goals and assists, not really. What, in half a season? Yeah. I think it's all right. Fif hold on, hold on, hold on. Fif 15 goals and an assist in just over half a season? Yeah. For a guy who's not a striker? I think you can get the assists in though, can't you? you oh, 15 at... goals and assists? Yes. Yes. What do you think it was? 15 goals and an assist? No, 15 but, goals. Right. And what do you think I said assists for? I didn't. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> the answer's no. no. Good player. I mean, a good okay. player, though. Right, OK. 37. Um, I want to give you question four. We won't address it now, but just so you can think while others are talking. What? Yeah, thank you. Woof. Woof. Uh, what was the most entertaining own goal you saw in your career? Think about that as we go to the next question, which is, Craig, do you think Haaland's goal output will go down once every team has played him and will maybe have a better game plan to go against him? No, not particularly, no. Nope. Not because he's playing in such a talented side with people around him that are just going to, you know, Gundogan, brilliant passer, De Bruyne, Mares, Foden, the list goes on. They're right. Going to, you know, Julian Alvarez is back, I believe. The youngster is. Yes. Yeah. Showing up. <laughs> yes. The Argentinians One are coming the back, aren't they? Showing, yeah. So no, I don't. I don't. I don't really think so. I think he's only going to get better. Right. Fitter, stronger. <laughs> More experience working under that coach with that team, so I don't see it changing, to be honest. Uh, Luis, have you ever experienced a game where the same player scored two own goals? No, oh, never seen. I've seen. I was going to mention that you you call about the funny own goals. I, I, I recall a couple at least from uh, Jamie Carragher. I think he's got a yep. pretty decent, <laughs> pretty decent record on that. But uh, no, I cannot recall two own goals in, on a game, and I think must be very difficult, frustrating, and for that player, uh, devastating. So uh, difficult to, to continue playing. I think today did a good effort in the in the second half, but um, yeah, never seen that before. 
Yeah, Carragher, Carragher scored twice, didn't he? Two own goals in the game against Manchester United back well, in the day. Well, the good thing is it's not a big rivalry there. So well, yes, exactly. You're going to do it, I mean, do it against, I don't know. Sid, so, you, you watch a lot and lot of football. Have you seen this before? Two in the same game from the same player? I don't think I have. Um, I, I, I'm really struggling to think of think of anything anything quite like that. No, I don't think so. No. How many goals have you scored in your life? Who, me? Not you, I'm talking to Craig. <laughs> I was going to say, why would you want to know how many I'd scored? <laughs> well, well <laughs> coming on this show was an own goal at the start. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, invite me to your wedding, that was an own goal. <laughs> yeah, that really was, uh, wow. <laughs> One. That, that, that was at Anfield. That was at Anfield, yeah. yeah. Talk at, us through it. At the cop end. Before Luis was there, obviously. Right. right. Suarez uh, or Garcia? <laughs> both. Uh, it was across to the back post, and I was sandwiched in between John Barnes, I think, and Robbie Fowler. Right. Might be wrong. And I tried to head it out for a corner kick. Okay. So I came back from the midfield to. Yeah, in, interfering. Got, I should have just. What I should have done, I should have just did what people do now. I should have just stood outside the box. Right. And left everybody else. I came back in, I tried to head it out for a corner, and I got a little bit too much of the forehead on it. <laughs> and it went into the top corner. Big target. It was a big target. Uh, Luis, how many own goals have you got on your uh, record? I wasn't close enough to my own goal, so. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, right, let's go to the question which I'd set you up for. What was the most entertaining own goal you saw? That one. Your own goal? Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to remember now. Yes, yeah. Sid, you have a good memory for these things. Oh, the best own goal. Um, <laughs> oh, well, you, you know one. what? Ridiculous, obviously this isn't memory, this is from, from having watched it on videos, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I've got a feeling that the goal that the Koreans score at Goodison Park in the 66 World Cup is a fantastic own goal diving header. Wow. Good I have to go back it. and check that, but I believe yeah. so. Oh, well, there you go. Now, there's been some peaches over the years, I just can't remember. Yeah. I saw Lee Dixon do one for Arsenal once at Highbury. I wasn't there, but I was on, was on tape when he chipped it over the goalkeeper. There's so many from outside the box. Yeah. Stevie's got a couple, hasn't he? I seem to remember. Luis? I think that it was uh, probably, uh, Sid is going to remember it, probably he's going to help me with the name. I think it was Pasic, the centre center back from Romania playing for Real Madrid. He scored yeah. a fantastic header own goal against Barcelona at a Clásico. And um, yeah, I was, I remember uh, no long ago I, I saw a, an interview from him and they were showing that that, that goal. It was yeah. a header into the box and he just arriving almost from a, spot, um, a penalty spot and headed into the, his own net and it was... Funny for uh, the Barcelona supporters, but not very much for him and the Real Madrid fans. And Jonathan Woodgate, you remember Sid as well, obviously, had a torrid time with injuries, made his debut and got scored an own goal and then got sent off, didn't he? Do I remember that right? Yeah, absolutely right. And, and it was the most brilliant post-match interview I've ever heard. Um, let's just say that words that rhyme with luck were said quite often. Um, and, <laughs> and he kind of finished this, this post-match interview saying, you know, I'd, I'd score this own goal. I got myself booked. And I was just saying to myself, just don't get another yellow card. Just don't get another yellow card. <laughs> and then, and then I got this other yellow card. And, and, and you know, as I say, he he had repeated some very rude words a very large number of times. And it actually got to the point that the little little gathering of British journalists that were there for him sort of, to to talk to him post game had to end up saying, Jonathan, would you mind saying that all again, but just like without yeah. the curse words in it? <laughs> was you not there then? I was there. Yeah. I yeah. Couldn't remember. <laughs> What do you mean I couldn't remember? I just set it all up. Oh, but I thought you were struggling to remember. No, I wasn't struggling. I think it was against Rosenberg, maybe, in the Champions Oof. League. Rosenberg? No, 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 I it think was against... So. At, was it not against Athletic Club? Probably oh, said no, thanks. You couldn't, you couldn't just pretend. You couldn't just let me get away with that. But uh, I think you might be I right. I could have done, yes. couldn't I? But you've been no, getting away with it for too many don't years. Don't worry, sir. And it was about right. time someone called you up on it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Your time at Real Madrid was just spent in an Irish bar, wasn't it? Really? How dare you? How dare you, <laughs> Craig? <Bradbury? laughs> you, your whole time there, and instead of engulfing yourself in the culture of Spain yes. and the tapas and right. the food and the wine, you spent. 99% of your time on the top of a table singing karaoke and an Irish bar. Didn't you? Larry's. It was called. La Just Larry's. Said, La Larry's. The lack of a response. <laughs> Larry's. Larry's. It was called. Yes. <laughs> God.
Uh, no wonder Larry retired and moved to South America. The amount of money we gave him. Right, for all, after seeing the first Winter World Cup, would you prefer to keep the World Cup in the summer after players are already physically tired or mid-season in the winter when players are better physically? What do you think, Luis? Uh, to be honest, uh, I didn't see much difference uh, in uh, during the game. I've seen players very tired. I've seen injuries. I've seen uh, the end of, the, of some of the games with uh, people just uh, having cramps. So uh, I think that, that, that it wasn't much difference on, on physicality. I, I think that uh, all the World Cups that, that I remember, it was kind of similar. To this season is because we were more focused on, let's see, uh, this season, this World Cup, we were more focused on Let's see and trying to to, to find the, the ways there. The, this World Cup is going to be different, but I think it, it was exciting from the first game to the last one with better and, and, and worse games, but the same like uh, during the, the summer. And players, I think they look fantastic, and I've seen World Cups with the players look fantastic. So I, I didn't see much difference on that on that recall. What would you prefer as a player? Well, I don't know. I never played in the Winter World Cup. Yes, but you can imagine <laughs> it. Uh, do you know, I, I don't think I would have minded it because I didn't like all the flapping around leading up. Right. You know, friendlies, getting on a plane, travelling. We travelled twice for Euro 96 and France 98 to, to the US here. We had a good time. Right. Uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, I think we do, Craig Burley, yes. Having go well, my, my, you know, my Madrid right? ways, you're a professional player. You're just waiting, <laughs> waiting. So in some sense, the lack of sort of time was, I think, a good thing, because you just literally you're preparing. Uh, the season finishes, you have a week or ten days, whatever it is, boss, you're in. Whereas maybe you've got three or four weeks, depending when your season finishes. So yeah, I quite liked it from that point of view. But I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I like to have it in the summer. But I wouldn't have. They had it again, and everybody was agreed with it. Right. In the proper in a proper place. And, they could schedule it in the winter again. I, I thought it was quite fun to split the season, watch a World Cup, and then yep. continue the season again. Yeah. From a non-participating person. Sid, you were a non-participating person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, the first thing to say is that, that that question was extraordinarily loaded, wasn't it? That question might as well have said, are you going to give me the right answer or the wrong answer? Um, <laughs> and it was, and, and I, I sort of, I sort of agree with Luis in that I, I don't know really if the evidence is actually there that it was better because, and if it was better, that it was any better because of the physical condition. I, as a non-participant, would argue that the best games are the games when the players are absolutely exhausted. Extra time is better than, than the 90 minutes, partly because the players can't cover the pitch because there's loads of space. So I like the idea of the players being exhausted. I think, I think there's another question as well, which is not just about how do the players perform during the World Cup, but what does it do to the domestic season? You know, this sort of slight sense that some players were holding back until now, that we don't know how players will react as they go back into the season. And from a non-participating point of view and just kind of a fan's one, I don't know about you, but I found it a bit weird to go straight back into football without feeling like we can kind of sit and digest the World Cup and, and have it as the focal point of, of, of the year, which is what it should be. And it feels like we're going, right, that's done. Let's get on to the other stuff. And you think, well, no, it's the World Cup. We should be, you know, we should be lingering on this for a long time. We shouldn't, it feels like, to me a little bit premature to be going straight back into football again. So I would prefer it to be in the summer, personally. Oh, let me, do, let me tell you, nobody lingers on things better than us, Sid. <laughs> that is true. Oh, we love a linger. We can Don't linger on any about story that. for weeks, months, maybe even years. Ah, uh, that is it. Thank you very much, guys. Luis, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Uh, Sid, enjoy your time home alone. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Talking to the dog. Talking to the dog. <laughs> Say well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.